Hello kindergartners, it's Mrs. Ross. I have a book I want to share with you today called Do You Have a Hat? And then we're going to do an art project that goes right along with this. Do you have a hat? Do you have a hat? Something fuzzy, warm, and red to keep the snowflakes off of your head? Or maybe floppy brimmed and blue when summer sun shines down on you? Do you have a hat? Francisco de Goya had a hat, a hat with candles on the brim, a clever hat that suited him, that made a chandelier of light for painting far into the night. Do you have a hat? Igor Stravinsky had a hat, a tattered, battered green beret. He wore it every single day. They say it never left his head, not even when he went to bed. Do you have a hat? This reminds me of Mrs. Stump's little boy. He has a hat that he loves to wear and it never comes off of his head, maybe even when he's in bed. Carmen Miranda had a hat, a towering hat of plumes and cherries, peaches, oranges, and berries. Plump bananas by the bunch, a hat her friends could eat for lunch. Do you have a hat? Abraham Lincoln had a hat, a stovepipe hat, black and tall, a presidential carry-all. Abe Lincoln wore it round the town with documents inside the crown. Do you have a hat? Nat Love had a hat, a cowboy hat to wear, of course, or carry water to his horse, or give a pesky fly a slap, or play the pillow for his nap. Do you have a hat? Isabel of Bavaria had a hat, a cone-shaped hat so very high, it poked a gargoyle in the eye. The doorways had to be redone so she could fit through everyone. Do you have a hat? Walt Whitman had a hat, a rather old and shabby hat, at times a makeshift table mat for writing poems in the sun or eating supper on the run. Do you have a hat? Louis Comte had a hat, a hat to close his magic act. A normal looking hat, in fact, but reaching in, as was his habit, Lewis produced a bunny rabbit. Do you have a hat? John Chapman had a hat. They say he wore a cooking pot. Some folks believe that, some do not. If true, he was a sight indeed, a pot-topped sower of apple seed. Do you have a hat? He's also known as Johnny Appleseed. Amelia Earhart had a hat, so did Daniel Boone, it's true. Charlie, Chaplin, Sally Ride, all of them have hat, had hats. Do you? Do you have a hat? A fancy hat, a hat that's plain, a hat for walking in the rain. A hat with feathers, flowers, bows. A hat that hoots, a hat that glows. A magic hat, a cap, a cown, a country hat, a hat for town. A single hat, squashed flat or tall, is better than no hat at all. Do you have a hat? So to do this art project, you're going to need to get the big, long white paper that your teachers put for you into your materials bag. And attached to that are several different samples of hats. You can choose one of those hats to cut out and decorate, or you can create your own. 
So if you're going to choose one of the hats that are already made for you, <clears throat> choose which one you like the best, cut it out, and you can decorate it any way you'd like. You can use different color paper, you could use markers, crayons, you could attach beads, pom-poms, buttons, anything that you'd like. Then you're going to glue it close to the top of your white paper. Underneath your hat, you're going to make a big letter U, and that is going to make your face. So this is going to be you wearing a hat. Now once you've made your face, you can color your skin in, and then you're going to need to decide what outfit you're going to wear that goes right along with your hat. So you'll need to create some sort of an outfit for yourself. You can do that just using pencils and crayons or pencils and markers. In the example pictures that these kids did, after they created themselves with crayon and they made their hat out of whatever materials they wanted to, they painted a background and their background had green grass and blue sky. Now, if you have paints, you're welcome to do that. If you have crayons or markers at home and you'd just like to color your background, that's fine too. This activity is just all about doing some cutting, practicing some gluing, and creating something fun that you enjoy that goes along with a book. Do you have a hat? This art lesson and the inspiration for it, the pictures that are done by first grade students, was done by Deep Space Sparkle, which you can find online.